Hello beautiful Virgo, my name is Trudy and I'm your Porchy Gypsy Angel Medium. This is your August 2020 reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. August 2020 is a suggestion. You could run into this whenever and if it resonates, great. Um, also, if you don't have any of those Virgo placements in your chart and you're a cross watcher or you're just watching because you like the title, you are welcome. Um, you're welcome to watch anything else in the channel. If nothing resonates, go find yourself another YouTube reader or better still, <laughs> get a personal exchange of energies with me. Click on the description box below. I love a personal exchange of energies. Thank you to those of you who are my clients and get personal readings. I love you so much. Thank you for helping me pay my internet bill and keeping the videos going and getting wonderful divination tools like the manga tarot, which is the one that we're going to be using today. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, August 2020. What are the most important messages? So, I'm also going to pull an Archangel card by Doreen Virtue and Raleigh Valentine. You're going to have to bear with me, Virgo. I'm being guided to do it like this. And one more shuffle and then cut the deck. The song that was just playing was When I Met You in the Summer. So maybe there's somebody that you met last summer. Or maybe there's somebody that you just met this summer. Hmm. Summer loving. I don't know. That doesn't have to apply to everybody, but I'm, I'm feeling like I needed to say that. So. Am I holding the deck upside down? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So, wow, that escalated fast. Jeez, Virgo, what you got going on over here? So, Virgo, Virgo, why do you have to bring me these stories where, like, you know, it's kind of like a weight? It's, uh, I don't like the being the berry. It's not a bad news, but, like, damn. All right. What you got going on here, Virgo? Let's start off with this energy here, Knight of Wands. Somebody needs to get it on. Somebody needs to relieve their tension by having some sex. Let's clear the energy and talk about the pink elephant in the room. Somebody's horny. <laughs> All right, somebody needs to get it on. The bounce chicka wow wow. Okay, um, and then I need my wand. Okay, so here, Virgo, you're feeling very trapped, limited, like you are not capable of moving out of this energy. You're volunteering yourself to this energy. You want to be stuck. You like being stuck. You're kind of enjoying being stuck and complaining about being stuck or feeling sorry for yourself because you're stuck. Uh, Self-victimizing and volunteering to submit. The illusion is... That is the trap, is allowing yourself to feel trapped. Okay. Now, you're the King of Cups in the month of August, or you're dealing with the King of Cups. This could be a sign of Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Doesn't have to be a dude, okay? Just somebody very in control of their emotions. Somebody very emotionally intelligent and aware of your emotions, too. Could be an empath. And this person has something to do with why you feel bound or it's an aspect of yourself that is keeping you bound. If you're not dealing with this person and this person is actually you, it's an aspect of yourself that's keeping you trapped. That's the aspect of yourself. Okay, now that's also leading you, this is all leading you to sleepless nights. You don't want to think about it. You don't want to talk about it. You, you just wish it wasn't even there, but there it is. And at night, you just can't ignore it because your eyes are closed and there's nothing else distracting you from it. Whatever it is that you don't want to look at. Look at you covering those eyes. You don't want to see it. You don't want to look. Okay. Now... If you were to unburden yourself and unbind yourself and unshackle yourself and liberate yourself, Virgo, this is where you would find yourself. It would be in the sun card, which is the happiest card that the tarot has to offer. This is bright, sunny, fun places. 
it reminds me of that song from the B-52s. Um, shining happy people holding hands. And that's what this card reminds me of. And so, like, yeah, that's what the sun is. It's happy times. It's even fertility. So, Virgo, if you don't want to get pregnant, you don't want to have a baby, you better wrap it up. Wrap it up. Because I know you want to get it on. And this is talking about fertility i even dropped it <laughs> somebody's gonna get pregnant if you're not careful oh my god virgo <laughs> wrap it up because there's kids in this picture blooming flowers and stuff okay also we got the emperor here so you may be leveling up in this month this is talking about being a boss being an authoritative figure being the boss boss being the person in control the person to look to for answers a stable person and this person <sighs> he is amazing at being organized strategic and delegating tasks and that's why he's sitting on the throne okay Somebody is going to make you an offer in the month of August, Virgo. This could be a romance offer. It could be a job offer. It could be an offer of partnership for an entrepreneurship. You know, this is going to be either a financial or a romantic offer or both. And uh, it's a long lasting offer. Out of all of the nights, this is the most stable. And I feel like this offer has been coming for a long time. Because this guy doesn't move fast. This guy moves real slow. He moves at a fucking snail pace. Oh my god, I just want to like drag him by his hair. He moves so slow. But the reason he moves slowly is because he's cautious. He doesn't want to take a step unless he's certain that that's the step he wants to take. So when he makes the offer... It's because he knows that that's the future he wants to be headed in. So this is an offer of immense stability, an offer that he's, has been well thought out and planned and um, rehearsed. Okay. All right, let's pull you an Archangel card for my Virgo. Psh, psh, psh. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, August 2020. Who is the angel that wants to work with my Virgos? Can we have a jumping card, guys? Okay, we got flippers. We got flippers instead of jumpers. I'll take it. Thank you. Alright, so first we got Awakening. This is Archangel Gabriel or Gabrielle. And I love this one because I compared it to when I was on my yoga swing, I had this revelation, you know. I like to keep my house spotless and I always think of my house as immaculate and clean. And uh, when I got on the yoga swing, I had a shift in perspective literally because I'm now hanging upside down. Okay, and I noticed a popcorn kernel underneath a uh, nightside stand. We hadn't eaten popcorn for months, and I had to, you know, get up off my ass and go pick up the popcorn kernel and sweep and clean and make it nice and neat because that wasn't supposed to be there, okay? But I wouldn't have noticed, and I didn't notice effectively for a whole two months, <laughs> that there was the popcorn kernel right there the entire time up until I was in this upside down position. So sometimes you need to change your position to change your perspective so that you can see things for what they truly are because you are missing the point virgo and that's why you're trapped because there's something that you didn't notice there's something that you missed and it's time for things to slow down so that you can change your perspective and look at it from a different point of view a different angle so that you can now see whatever it was that you were unable to see from the previous perspective. I hope that that made sense. Okay. So, 
Archangel Sandalfin Unity. Archangel Sandalfin wants to help you get close to friends with more traditional viewpoints, friends that align with your actual perspective, friends who are more like-minded with you, friends who are more spiritual, okay? So if you want to work with Archangel Gabriel or Sandalfin, all you have to do is ask. Say it out loud. Ask Archangel Sandalfin, help me with da-da-da. And they're always letting me know that there's no mission too big or small. All you have to do is make the call. <laughs> All right. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much. Virgo, I love you. Love me back. Love yourself. Love everybody around you. Mwah.